Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. Three years without hardly any water. How is this affecting our groundwater supply? Senator Fran Pavley joins us, and this has been a political issue for many, many years, and will continue to be so, won't it? Oh, it's absolutely <laughs> probably the hottest political, no pun intended, but issue in the state's history. The drought it, and It's our not a partisan issue either. It's fascinating. It's more a geographic issue. And we rely, we know a lot on importing water from Northern California when we have a lot of snow in the Sierras. And you're right, three, year, uh, three years of record drought. But what people don't realize that in drought years, 60% of the state's water supply comes from our groundwater. And we don't pay attention to no. it because it's sort of out of sight, out of mind. We know that it's down there, it's connected. But in many parts of the state, they only rely on groundwater. Rural areas in particular? Yes, yeah, Central Coast communities. in particular. Um, other areas could rely on it more. They just need to clean it up. It's been contaminated over time. It's absolutely critical. So for the first time in state's history, I'm proud to say that Governor Brown just signed a uh, groundwater management policy bill. Um, we are the last of the western states to have adopted regulations on groundwater policy. Even Texas, Wyoming, They've already have those in the books. It's that important. And so it's been a little bit of the Wild West out here when it comes to groundwater. If you're an overlying property owner, you have access to that water down below. Um, but if it's not managed to determine who gets how much, right. then whoever has the deepest well wins the water so wars. a lot of tension. A lot of tension. Yeah. A lot of difficulty. Small farms versus the big corporate agriculture or families, uh, retired people on large lots overlying the groundwater basin, uh, an incredible amount of tension. So there's 515 groundwater basins around the state. I think I know way too much information <laughs> on the subject, but, but I chair the water committee, so I, I need to pay attention to this. And um, some are managed successfully and sustainably, where you try not to take out more than you get in any one year. It's sort of like managing your bank account, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You have to be very smart Supply about this. Supply and demand, sure. And not, and, but water is even more predictable perhaps in the economy. You can't tell from one year to the next how much water you're going to get and how much water you can take out. And so uh, there is a lot of tension. Um, it's going to be very difficult, but things that we can all do together um, is figuring out how to stretch our water supply is a resource. I think we're going to have to use water not only just one time, but two or three times. Mm -hmm. That's what other arid areas are doing. Um, I've met and talked to people from Australia who've gone through a record drought that lasted years and years. They've really redone what they do. We so can learn from them. Not only drought tolerant landscaping, but recycled water. Reclaiming water. Reclaiming water to reuse it again. There's no reason for our landscaping to be, have access to clean potable water that can be used for growing crops or for drinking purposes. What it sounds to me like, uh, Senator Pavley, is that water um, is becoming liquid gold. It is it liquid is gold. almost more valuable than oil. I mean, it's, you know. And it's tied so much into our economy and obviously our well-being. We consider water a source, a resource that should be available to everyone. Clean water. So finally, after all these years, 1978 or something, we're doing something about it. We are finally, and it's not going to be overnight. We're asking people to adopt, have groundwater management agencies locally run so that Sacramento doesn't not need to get into the middle of how they do it. Okay, still but a we're political We're moving in issue. the right direction. It's always <laughs> Senator political. Senator Fran Pavley, thank you so You're much welcome. for joining Thanks. us here on Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw.